Ever get the feeling you're swimming upstream, like you're constantly battling against the current just to stay afloat? I think we all feel that way sometimes. Well, maybe there's a better way. A way to move through life with more grace, more ease. That sounds pretty good to me. And it's an idea that's been around for centuries, all the way back to ancient China. We're talking about Zhuangzi, a philosopher who encouraged people to live in harmony with the Tao. The Tao. Right, the Tao. It's kind of like the natural order of the universe, the way things flow. And Zhuangzi believed that when we align ourselves with that flow, life becomes a lot less of a struggle. That makes sense, but how do we actually do that? Well, that's what we're diving into today with the help of Zhuangzi's writings. And one of the things he loved to use were stories and metaphors, really vivid imagery that helps us grasp these complex ideas. I like that. And one of his most famous is the analogy of the swing. The swing. Yeah, imagine a child on a swing. They're not forcing it, are they? They're moving with the natural rhythm of the swing, finding that sweet spot where effortlessness meets pure joy. Okay, I see where you're going with this. And Zhuangzi is saying that life is kind of like that swing. When we let go of our need to control every little thing and instead try to move in harmony with the natural order of things, that's when we find that same effortless joy. So it's not about being passive. It's more about finding that, that alignment. Exactly. And it applies to everything. Hmm. The choices we make, the relationships we build, even our career paths. Hmm. Interesting. So if we're constantly striving, constantly pushing, are we kind of working against ourselves, against the Tao? That's exactly what Zhuangzi suggests. He tells this great story about a woodcarver. This woodcarver, he could create these incredible masterpieces, and it seemed effortless, like the wood was just flowing from his hands. There's that flow again. Right. And someone asked him, how do you do it? What's your secret? And the woodcarver says, I don't force my will on the wood. I listen to it. I respect its grain. And in doing so, I allow its hidden potential to be revealed. Wow, that's beautiful. It is, isn't it? And Zhuangzi is saying that we can approach life the same way. Instead of trying to impose our will on every situation, we can listen, we can adapt, we can find that harmonious path forward. I'm starting to see how this could be really helpful in navigating the ups and downs of life. And you know, when we talk about finding that harmony, that alignment with the Tao, a big part of it is learning to let go of what we can't control. Which, let's face it, is a lot. It is, isn't it? But that's where mindfulness comes in. By practicing mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, our emotions, and we can start to recognize when we're resisting the natural flow of things. So it's not about suppressing our feelings or pretending everything's fine when it's not. It's more about observing them without getting swept away. Exactly. And when we can do that, we create space for acceptance, for peace, even in the midst of challenges. This reminds me of something Zhuangzi wrote about living simply and authentically. Hmm. It's not about amassing possessions or chasing external validation. It's about aligning our actions with our values, with what feels true to us. It's about finding freedom, not by controlling outcomes, but by accepting the natural ebb and flow of life. And maybe, just maybe, that's where true happiness lies. Following the Tao, not forcing it. It's a simple idea, but so profound. Food for thought as we navigate the currents of our own lives. Where could you benefit from a little more going with the flow?